these things called jazz chants from Carolyn Graham. And I think that they're specifically made for ESL students. And when I was teaching elementary school in Texas years ago, um, and also when I taught college in Japan, we used them. And uh, one that I remember specifically was called, Hi, How's It Going? And it goes, Hi, How's It Going? Great, how about you? Hi, how's it going? Okay, how about you? Hi, how's it going? Fine, how about you? Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? And it's just rhythmic, getting the kids to sort of speak in a pattern so that they're learning uh, the phrasing properly of greeting someone and the different responses that you can have back to um, a responsive, how's it going? <laughs> I think I've always used music in the classroom because it's something that children generally find to be fun and exciting, uh, especially young children, they're always fascinated with different kinds of instruments. And it's a good way, particularly in my experience with kids who are learning English as a second language, it's a great way to get them to, to enjoy the language and to actually speak the words and practice without them really realizing that they're learning anything. And as well, the bottom line, it's fun. Kids love it. They enjoy themselves when they're in the classroom. They look forward to doing it. And yeah, it's, it's just something that I've always used. Something else that I used to do with my fifth graders in Texas was for spelling. Um, each week they would get some spelling words and I would divide the kids into four groups and they would take a number of spelling words, I can't remember now how many, and they would make little chants. I would record them on my tape recorder and play it to the kids uh, every day. A-B-O-U-T, about. So these are ones that I remember. What was really funny is when I would see them writing or typing on the computer, I could see their I could see their mouths moving and re repeating uh, the pattern back, um, the rhythm that would help them remember how to spell their spelling words. They loved making up the patterns and making up different um, rhythms to go with their spelling words, and it really did help them. So I think. The payoff was, first they liked doing it just because it was sort of fun and different and new. They also liked recording, they liked listening to themselves back. Um, and after a while, I think it was not only just the fun, but they became engaged because it was fun and it helped them. So the two things together um, had me sold and it had the kids sold as well.